You know, so I have to be patient. You know, I have to be very, very patient. We have 11 freshmen on the team, true freshmen. You know, so I wanted to build it from uh, the ground up with freshmen. So now when they're coming in as a sophomore and junior and senior years, there's not a whole lot to teach. They know what the program is about. They know the expectations. They know what to expect. By the time they're juniors and seniors, I might just sit down and cross my legs and coach. <laughs> I wanted to attend an HBCU, one, because of my mother. She went to Hampton University, and for me, there was no HBCU better than the first one. I chose Cheney University because it chose me. The first HBCU, I feel like I needed to be here. Me, coming from the inner, inner city, Baltimore, there's a lot of poverty, a lot of kill, a lot of drugs, a lot of violence. So coming to Cheney is the exact opposite. Surrounded with people who are driven by the same goals, who face the same obstacles I do just in everyday life. And also, like I said, been around HBCU, black, people that are inspired to do something great, it motivates me as well. The values and standards of life that I teach in this program, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, I tell them basketball is only 10% of it. You know, 90% of it is life. Like I have a 97% graduation rate. I always guarantee parents, if your kid come to me, they're going to graduate. I can't guarantee anything in basketball, how many minutes they're going to play, how many points they're going to score. One thing for certain, two things for sure, you come to Coach those program, your kid gonna walk out with a degree in four years. I was a former student athlete, so I truly believe no books, no ball. Cheney is strong in academics, and we wanna make sure that students have all the resources they need to be successful off the court. We have a life success coaches, and each life success coach is a part of a team, uh, such as we have a life success coach for women's basketball, men's basketball, volleyball, cheerleading. So we, we have all the resources for that student athlete to not fail on or off the court. Man, I just can't wait. Like We've been putting in all the works. Coach Stokes put in a great uh, about eight, six week plan. We've been working it feel like longer. Because it was so hard. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I tell them day in and day out during practice, we have to compete. Every possession, don't take a possession off, and you can do that for 40 minutes. Then, you know, the winning percentage goes up. So I just think that's really, really huge, you know, to have the first three HBCUs to compete. I think the HBCU game day classic is a huge opportunity for our training university. For these kids to get this kind of exposure and experience to play against you know, other HBCUs, I think is great. You know, because the experience of being at an HBCU and playing at an HBCU and the resurgence of HBCUs, I think is, you know, is wonderful. It's just like how Deion Sanders is doing a great job at Jackson State and shedding light on HBCUs now. I just want everyone to be excited about the HBCU experience that's about to happen. Uh, this weekend. Uh, Cheney will be there loud and proud. Uh, we bleed blue. I also believe together we win, we win together. That's just not just in sports. That's academic and on this campus. I see it all the time. I'm waiting to put that on my t-shirt. And uh, so I believe that whatever you do, if you're doing it with a group of people, just believe together we win, we win together, and you're always going to come out on top.